guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana. I've got some real special guests today. I've got Nature Kid Matthias, Nature Lady Alexa over here, and we are excited to have both of these guys spending the day at the zoo, learning about some animals. And I had her do one animal where I kind of creeped them out a little bit, but they're both being really good. I'm, they're not scared. Like, I, I can't scare these two for, on, uh, under anything I do. But time for an update. This is the rock scorpion, called a flat rock scorpion. Why do you think they're called flat rock? First of all, are they flat? Yeah. Yeah, where do they live? On rocks. Oh, you guys are geniuses. Yeah, under rocks, exactly. And in Africa. And of course, they are flat, so they can get under those small rocks. And obviously, they want to get under there for protection from predators. But also, they got to get out of the sun because even in Africa, you got to worry about the sun, even when you're an insect like I, or an I've arachnid. Heard that sometimes they'll steal a snake's burrow. You know what? Under a rock? Yeah, sometimes. that's it. And scorpions will sometimes steal burrows from snakes and things like that because these are vicious little guys. As as you know, and he looks at when you look at him, he looks like a little tank. He's got those big giant. These are called pincers up here, and that's what he uses to go grab his food. And then what else do you think he uses those for? Um, to protect himself and mostly to chop. The food up. Exactly, to, to protect themselves and to, and then to pick the food up. Right. And what do you think that very thing on the end there is for? For protection. For protection. Exactly. Stinging. And obviously he'll use that against his prey too. And that's where, you know, when you when I brought this guy out, you guys were like, oh gosh, please don't let him. No, you weren't really like that. But a lot of people are worried that this thing is going to sting them and kill them. But do you remember what I told you? Will this kill you? No. No, no not at all. Their sting just isn't strong enough to affect a human being, um, especially the rock scorpion. Some of the bigger, the different kinds of scorpions out there, they can certainly affect you, but it's going to be no worse than a bee sting. And on the very tip of his tail right here, He's, you can see that stinger, and he's got that what's called that little that little sac right there. It's called a telson, and that's where the venom is at. And it can actually, once he stings, that will refill, of course, with that with that venom. Now, here's the other cool thing that these guys do, and I don't have one to show you right now. But have you ever seen these guys glow under an ultraviolet light? If you put a black light on a scorpion, they glow almost white. It's really cool looking. And what that is is when these guys, they shed their skin, it's called molting. Mm -hmm. So when they molt, and it, it, what happens is there's a, there's a chemical reaction inside that, inside that exoskeleton that hardens their skeleton. And that reacts to the ultraviolet light, giving it that glow. It's a really cool thing, and it's a neat thing to do and, and see. Other than that, it really doesn't have any benefit to glow in ultraviolet light, other than the fact that it hardens their shell. But what a cool little animal this is and you know the crazy thing is did you know we have scorpions here in Billings Montana yeah yeah and I'm not talking about this one yeah up on the rims mm -hmm. if you look under the rocks you'll find those real small little guys um, they're pretty cool little buggers so I really enjoy looking for them and finding them but they're pretty neat but nonetheless rock scorpion pretty awesome you guys want to touch to show everybody you're not afraid yeah he's, he's pretty easy going today he's pretty relaxed and pretty quiet out there but uh, nonetheless nothing you got to be worried about if you ever find one don't worry they're not going to run after you and kill you you'll be okay yeah. all right guys until next time i'm jeff the nature guy with matthias and alexa and we'll see you here at the zoo